Welcome back to Gold Rush. Gold Rush. Well, we're about to enter our mining camp. Yep. And we're about to find out whether or not on this land route we have contracted the disease known as cholera. Mm. Are we ready to find out? Let's take a look. All right, here we go. I'm fine. Is that you? <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, man, it's been weeks. Oh man. You're all hillbillied <laughs> out now. Well, you know. That's good. Work. I'm glad. I'm glad we don't have cholera yet. I I was kind of looking yeah. forward to it, but at the same time I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, here's the deal. When you get cholera, you basically, you're just, you're kind of like limping around, like uh-huh. you're kind of like, you're hunched over. Right. You look sick. And then you can just con- continue playing the game for like another like two or three minutes, and then you just pass out and die. Jesus. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to stop it. Wow. You just die. I wonder if like as a kid, when you're playing this game... Like, you just figured there was nothing you could do. Or even worse, like, you start to panic and think that there's some way that you can get treatment for cholera out here. <laughs> no, I just, heartbreaking. I just... It was heartbreaking. It was an instant restore. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I knew. As soon as I appeared and I was like, Ugh, I was like, oh, I'm done. I mean, yeah, but, That's like, it. at this point in time in your life, uh, absolutely. Or, like, at the point in time where you had played enough of this game that you would know. But, like... As a like as a child prior to like intimate knowledge of this game, oh, oh yeah. How would you even know? Yeah, like oh man, I I never finished Police Quest Three without a walkthrough because there was like one event you had to do on like day three that if you didn't do day five, shot in the back every time. Shot in the back. Yeah. Brutalitas. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm talking about you. So. Yep. I have to go. I'm just going to go look around here. See what we can find. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some stuff happening here. Mm-hmm. Hey, look at that guy reading the book. Mm-hmm. Let's Another go see guy him. that's chopping the log upon which he chops logs. Yeah. Just Talk doing practice man. swings. The man reading the book says, It is a beautiful day to just relax and read a good book. The going will be tough in a few weeks, so I'm enjoying every moment of this easy life. The man continues, Since we'll be traveling together, I'd like to give you something. Here, take this book. I'd like you to have it. (laughs) You graciously receive it and say thank you. Nice. I got a book. I got a book. I will never speak to him again. (laughs) Nope. All right. All right, let's talk to the captain here. What up, captain? Talk. Captain. You find the man who appears to be the leader of this company and introduce yourself to him. Welcome to the Long Island Joint Mining and Stock Company, Jared, bellows this seasoned-looking man. It is great to have you join us. <laughs> it's like Tony the Tiger. It's great to have you join us. <laughs> My name is Captain Buddy. Yeah, that's right, Captain Buddy. I'm going to do everything within my power to take this company safely across the country to California. California. Before we get too far, Jared... There's something you need to know. The company fund is running a little low. (laughs) Now, I'm asking all of the company members to contribute everything they can so we can all make it to California as soon as possible. So (sighs) what, just donate your money? Give money. Dang, dude. You reach deep into your pockets, retrieve all of your remaining cash, and hand it over to the company captain. That's like 750 bucks. (laughs) Thank you so much, Jared. You're a bright-looking young man. Bright-looking. And I have an an assignment for you. Let's hear for underhanded compliments, guys. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Go on, go on. All right. Um... (laughs) 
don't think that's what he's saying. When the plains are turning green from growing grass and the mud is beginning to dry, we need to make haste to the riches of California. But in order to do that, we're going to need a fine team of animals to pull these heavy wagons. I'm charging you with the responsibility of obtaining these animals. The company fund will pick up the tab. You mean I'll pick up the tab? (laughs) Yeah, all the money that I just gave you? (laughs) That is the company fund, right? Like, (laughs) yeah. Head south into Independence to find me some teams and report back to me when you have accomplished your mission. Wow. He takes all your money and then sends you away on a fucking job. Like, pretty sure that's the opposite of the way that that, that's supposed to work. What's the deal with this guy? (laughs) Aw, you miss an apostrophe. Caveman. Look, man. Oh, so this guy gets to sleep. Yep. That guy gets to read a book. Meanwhile, I get to give away all of my money and go down to Independence to buy some fucking oxen. Great. This is fucking great. All right. Okay. Talk to this Uh, shyster. All right. I'd like to buy some animals. Nice. Uh, Sounds like a good plan. You've come to the right place for that. This is what I have to offer you. Mules, young oxen, or mature oxen. Which would you like? Uh, let's get some mature mm. oxen. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I love the music in this. Aww. It's so scarce. It's so few and far between. Yeah, just but when it happens, little, it just punctuates the moments. Yeah, little little titters of PC music, <laughs> PC speaker. <laughs> Lovely. The man says these mature oxen are weathered, tested, and true. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. I'll deliver them to your company camp before nightfall. Nicely done. Well, I guess that job wasn't too hard. Yeah, especially since it was like one step outside of the camp. This fucking captain couldn't even walk 20 feet. Time to save the game. L.R. Triple Horn. Nice. Wait. L R triple <laughs> and Matt was never know, seen man. again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk to the captain. You should talk, captain. You report back to the captain that you have secured a team of animals, and they'll be delivered to camp later today. Later today. I trust you have selected the right animals to pull our wagons across the country. I have another assignment. Jesus, for you. really? Yep. Man. It is up to you to determine when our company should head west. This guy is just delegating responsibility. <laughs> like, he's like, hey, I'm the captain, but. Eh. I don't really want it to be on my head if the entire company dies, so I'm going to give it to this guy. Just in case. If we leave too early, the plates will be muddy and the wagons will sink to their axles and we'll all die. Of course. The animals will not have enough grass to eat and then they'll die. (laughs) But if we wait until the plains are too fully green, it might be too late. Then we'll face the gut-wrenching thought of encountering early winter storms in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Then we'll all die. Anyway, report back to me when it's time to go. When it's time to head west, just like, don't come and talk to me until it's time to leave. Sometime in a few weeks. Alright, now for the most fascinating part okay. of this game. Look, grass. Alright. The plains are still brown and muddy from the cold, wet winter. There is very little grass. Hmm. Really? 
<laughs> You're supposed to sit here and literally watch grass grow? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck, Ken Williams? How did this get past you? You oh. probably thought this was a good idea. This is a great idea. Oh, I mean, like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's super cool. Like, it's great. But how the fuck are you supposed to think about this? <laughs> I guess we'll just oh, stand yeah. here and watch the grass grow. Once the grass yeah. uh, is about the right size, I think I'll uh, go back to the captain. Tell him it's time to go. I can understand why the captain didn't want to do this. <laughs> So when you get to California, you're going to have to watch paint dry until it's just dry enough. (laughs) Oh, planes are still muddy. That's okay. Uh, Look. Grass. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So what do you what do you think of this game so far? Oh, I'm loving I'm loving it every moment of it. It's it is like it is exactly everything that was wrong and right about Sierra back in the day, man. <laughs> oh yeah, this was uh th- my brother and I used to play this on Christmas Eve. So guess what guys, you thought Dark Souls time. was hard? <laughs> <laughs> Try making it through this one on skill alone. <laughs> Look, grass. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do the pixels like that are grass actually change? If you're paying nope, attention, nothing changes. Oh wow! <laughs> you just have to keep doing this. Nice. Is there a timer? Yep. Like just elapsed time? Probably. Should we yeah. do a time lapse? I think it's. <laughs> Yeah, let's do a time. All right, here we go. You guys shouldn't have to sit through this. No. By their, their, how how willing they were to commit to making you watch grass grow. I'm pretty sure like 15 minutes of real time has elapsed while we were waiting for this to happen. Now, to be fair, yeah, we figured out that when you are on fast mm-hmm. speed, the timer stops. It seems to have stopped. We shouldn't unequivocally yeah. say that it stops, but it certainly seems to have at least slowed down or stopped for us. One second had passed uh, between when we had left. I, I think. I think. I mean, I can go yeah. back and check. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. We're all cool. Yay. We're, all, we're all clean. Yep. Now you better go back to the captain before it fucking before your tiny window probably ends. <sighs> yeah. All right. Let's save our game. Mm-hmm. Good idea. Do not want Time to do that goal. again. Time go. <laughs> Talk, Captain. You report back to the Captain Buddy. The Captain Buddy. Mm-hmm. I think that it is time to head west. Captain Buddy bellows. Okay, man, our scout Jared has determined that it's time to break camp and head west. Let's hitch him up and move him out. Whew. I need a drink. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> time to go upstairs and get that bottle of whiskey. Ugh. Okay. It is 2,100 miles to California. But after only a few miles, your company and every other company heading west realizes that the wagons are too heavy. You begin what will be the start of a continual process, lightening the wagons. 
The traffic is very heavy leaving Independence. There must be hundreds of wagons, usually pulled by six to eight mules or oxen on the trail. <clears throat> the trails become deeply rutted, making passage difficult. Wagon axles break, wheels fall off, wagons sink up to their axles in the mud. If they cannot be pulled out, they're abandoned. Dang, dude. I know, brutal. 45 miles down the trail, the trail forks. To the south is the Santa Fe Trail. To the north, the Oregon-California Trail. Very few take the southern route. It isn't long before the first Indians are encountered. The first Indians encountered are the Shawnee and Potawatomis. Potawatomis. Potawatomis? Much to the surprise of most of the travelers and disappointment to some, they are very friendly and helpful. Shut up, man. Yeah, the people who are disappointed by that probably... <laughs> yeah. Crossing the Kansas River. We made it. Thank God. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Sorry, I had water. That's cool. You're now approaching the land of the Pawnee Indians. This is the tribe of Indians that is most feared by travelers. Mm -hmm. It's necessary to keep keen watch at all times. That's cool. The plains team with buffalo. Herds of them stretch as far as the eye can see. Wildlife is extremely abundant. But the traveling masses do little to preserve their surroundings as they make haste to the west. White people. <laughs> While traveling the trail, you find that one of those who have gone before you have left a trail of litter and garbage. If there was no trail, you would have hardly noticed. You could just follow the trash. Oh, it's a sad sight. I thought it was played for a joke. Mm. Also, along the way, you find discouraged travelers heading back home in their wagons. All the way up lip, here? Lip, lip. <laughs> The first major milestone is Fort Kearney. It was recently built by the U.S. Army to attempt to keep peace between the Pawnee and Sioux Indians. Travelers look forward to Fort Kearney for various reasons. Some just want a place to mail letters. Others are interested in how many others have passed before them. Leaders want information on the condition of the trail ahead. Holy shit, this is going to be a long trip. Yep, we got a long way to go. But for now, <laughs> rest your heels, because there's a lot of trail ahead, and we'll see you next time. Join us next time, yeah, for the next leg of our journey. Mm -hmm. To the so, yeah. Platte River. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching Gold Rush. We will see you next time. We will. I probably won't see you. True. But you'll see. We've never seen any, most of them. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be aware mm. of them through our view count. <laughs> there you go. That's why those numbers are so important. Yeah, we don't know you exist. Yeah. <sighs> Bye. <laughs> <clears throat>